Okay, so speak, speak, hello. speak to me. Hello, hello, hello. And I'm talking. Okay, I think this is a little right. bit too. Yeah, this is. High. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. I think hello. it's fine now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's just uh, discuss real quick what we're gonna do. Yeah, let's tr because I mean, we need to remember that this is for ourselves in the future. So yeah. this is the first session for the parser for the silverware language and we still have to go through the details but it's going to be an applicative or a monadic uh, parsing uh, combinator which means that we are not at least initially we are not doing adv advertising for parsers generators which is what Nathan wants uh, that's why he's not here right <laughs> i don't know i think he would be here regardless but uh he has a he had a thing to do so anyway how do i run this thing this okay, is, so, oh, and this is uh, the, the dumb code that we need to change. Go. Yeah, so just another note. Uh, if somebody else is watching this in the future, uh, we're using this language called LFA, which is Lisp Flavored Erlang, which is literally Erlang with Lisp syntax, and that's it. All oh, right. And this is because the, the, the reason is because we want to use this parser in, with the compiler that we are oh, yeah. Uh, making in, in, in the other session, and we we are using the Erlang family of languages to compile to a .NET <laughs> code generation. I mean, I don't know if you want to <laughs> compile to .NET, but anyway, that's uh, extremely compile. funny, right? But okay. Yeah, that would be very cursed. But anyway, <laughs> let's, let's see. So, uh, can you go back to the other buffer? Yeah. Oh, I don't have the shortcut so, for that yet, but this works. Okay, so just just evaluate this function, the answer. Is this so one select for C? Uh, alt H. Uh, alt H. You sure? It should it should select everything. No, definitely not. Oh, it's mapped to F sharp. Oh, it's probably my thing that messed up. Anyway, uh, control space to mark. Yes, you could just just press like control alt A after that, but th now Control c Control r Cool, now oh, run so the answer. Oh, the is different from the particle crap, okay. Yes, it is. That, that's, that, that definitely screws us up, I can already tell. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go to the, go to the REPL now and try to run that answer. Uh, oh, and of course, because this is Lisp crap, I need to do like this, I guess. Yeah. 42. There's it. Okay. And the answer is a uh, it's string. a string apparently. Yeah, that's because we're using reverse. I don't know why it's a string. Oh, actually. it's an integer to list. Uh so Yeah, but that's just integer uh, to Erlang list. integer to list. Oh, and by the way, I, I, I hope you know, uh, mm -hmm. get how to do the, the parser, because I didn't read through. Oh, I know. Okay, so... Uh... I read that article like 10 times already, man. Oh, that's nice, then. We have a professional... Oh, yeah, professional monadic parser combinator. <laughs> implementer. Implement yes, implementer. Uh, developer. <laughs> uh, what we want again? Oh, uh, integer to list, right? Uh, I think that's actually a function in LFA, not in Erlang. So this is the first exclusive then, LFA integer to list. But why is it called Erlang then? Can I see? Yeah. Link, oh yeah, Erlang. it is on Erlang. Yes. So do the following: go to Erlang module, in search for Erlang module. Are you uh, sure. I think it's the second the, because it's a horrible name because the m name of the module is Erlang, right? So yeah, that's that seems really bad. Um, okay, there is the the module info function. No, I don't think that's, that's what we want. Okay, let's try something a little bit more pedantic. So integer to uh, list like this. Module oh. summary. Yeah, okay. try that one. It seems to be something. Oh, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Integer. We have integer. No, okay, we so are the integer types. two. These are the poor man types we have. Here it is. Okay. So, and by the way, I should I should start uh, silverware. 
Oh no, man. I should start. <laughs> I should start remembering those. This crap. Uh, okay. So this guy. Oh, two sides to a string. Yeah, it's exactly what we imagined. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, no problem. And then we are reversing it. So this probably should be a 24. But, why, but here's the thing. Why the integer to list convert to a string? Probably because a string is a, is a list uh, like in Haskell. Like because a, a string is a, a, a list of characters. Okay. I kind of okay, kind of see that. But yeah, but I would not ever person. put... Uh, this should be yeah, integer man. to string. <laughs> but... <laughs> Returns a string corresponding of the text in representation of the integer. Yeah. Oh, given some base. Yeah. Okay. But that's pretty cursed, the name. Yeah, the curse is, the name is pretty bad. Yeah, but what is this doing again? We are doing a Just fold. Of a multiplication. Oh, this is 24 everything. and this is 42. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... so don't run the main because the main that has the Erlang halt that yeah, will stop yeah, the I, interpreter. I, I, so you I, can I just saw. remove that. Uh, okay, so how how we're gonna make uh, what's the should be the first step? So the first step for the the monadic parser combinator. Oh, by the way, uh, we have cool stuff in the language that I'm gonna just I'm not gonna go over them. I'm just gonna be like talking about it, and we use. I think it's better if you go go to the lfa.io. You will see promptly uh, what I'm talking about. Let me just also find the paper. It's the first one from yes. Graham Holtam. Yes, that one. The Haskell professor. Okay, and what is the... LFA.io. Okay, so this is going to be in the references, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's basically a bunch builds 38 the, pages, and you said you read this a bunch. Yeah, I ran it like three times, I think, to do my parser. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, so where where is the starting point? Let's go so, through this first. No, no, ju just look at the, the things. Like, we have a right click on simple types. We have types just in this language? quick overview of the language. Yeah, just quick overview. So we have, like, kind of types. Compound types. Go there. Oh, compound types. I don't know what that is. What we that have, is? Uh, okay. Lists, tuples. Oh, these are data structures. Okay, maps. Yeah, fine. Records. Records is like a Lisp record, but it's better than what we are Wait, used to. Wait, we have re uh, records in common lists? Yeah, it's basic. Yeah. Why we use the class then in Latris? Oh, we. I don't remember why. But... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I think it's actually okay. I mean, I think the records. Hmm. I think the 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 things would actually make it easier. But we have better matching in build. <gasps> Holy! Yeah, this is better than Lisp. I'm so sorry. And we have macros. I think you cannot cause side effects, by the way, because the language like you cannot have side effects. So, what? How are we gonna read it? How are we gonna read IO, man? No, 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 no. I'm talking about side effects in the sense of, uh, like setting variables, like mutability. Oh, mutability. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, who needs mutability? We don't. Uh, uh, when we have maps and stuff. You're gonna fear that. <laughs> so, we oh, have here. Erlang interrupt. Yeah. Erlang interrupt. So we can call Erlang stuff. Yeah, yeah, but this is this should be fine because it is it is in the same mm -hmm. ecosystem, right? Yeah. So it's basically list literally Lisp, uh, but f Erlang like Erlangish. Yeah, that's anyway. That's really nice. Oh, do we so, have partial? Oh, we don't have partial application because we need to do this crap. Yeah, here. of course we uh, don't. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, that's a decision. Yeah, no, it's a bad okay, decision. So, but okay. <laughs> I don't think so, man. It's just another way of thinking. Okay, so we gotta do. Uh, here's how the the parser will work, right? We gotta insert a. Uh, we gotta wrap stuff in like inside a type parser. Yeah, I think this is, this, this is the one, right? Yes, and inside this parser, we could make it a, like a kind of a record that we need to have a, a state inside the thing that will have the state of that will be a function that takes an input 
like uh, from the previous parser, it will process doing something, and it will return a tuple of the uh, if version it, and the remaining. Yeah, this is this is actually the first part of it, which is a and a string, but this should be wrapped in a result if you want to make it like uh, well better, right? Yeah. It's, so the, the, maybe the first. Uh, oh, that's not a joke, by the way. Maybe the mm -hmm. the first step should be making the result type. Yeah, so let's make first the input thing, because we got to have uh, some utility functions for handling input. So let's no, make the following. It, no, but isn't the input just reading a file? No, my friend. The input is a bunch of strings. It's a, it's a big string. And yeah, then we is. are going to tra keep track on the position. No, no, no. So let, 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 let's let me give an here. example here. So the no, input no. would be something like, oh, I don't have the autocomplete uh, parentheses. Yeah, by you way. don't. Uh, do we have this? No. No, no, no because I spelled it wrong. We don't no, have because this. Because that's global. Uh, we don't have global things here? You don't have global. It's our link, man. You cannot have that. Uh... You need to wrap everything in a function. Okay, so I don't know. That fun give me input, and this will receive nothing. Uh, this should you return. Can code there, but if you have all the code, uh, yeah, okay, it's Lisp, so you can have, you can code there and send okay. to the wrapper. Uh, maybe this is also a little bit too small. How do I make this thing bigger? I, lo I lost my shortcut. Control X plus. Control X plus. Oh, like this. Okay. So my f the first question would, uh, should be what we want to parse first, and I guess it which should be something like this. No, 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 dude, you're thinking of the implementation. Let's do the parser first. I'm thinking about the implementation. Yeah, because you're thinking of parsing a string of a language already. No, no, no. What? I'm isn't this the isn't this silverware? Yes. No. No, it's squared brackets, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. No, but anyway, like, you're thinking already of parsing the language. We're not gonna, we're gonna do a generic parser that we're gonna use oh, in the end. Oh, okay, so we're gonna make the tools for the tool for the. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Do, 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 let's do this then first. Remove all this code you have there apart from the def module up there. Um, Control X, uh, I think it's this, no? I forgot how to do uh, the... Control space. Control space. Meta this. Yes. Okay. Now make a main. Just Meta to have an entry main. point so you have an export. Yeah. So we can do garbage there. Just new. Whatever, man. New. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now do the following. Make a def record. We're going to make a result right now, right? Uh... We could, yeah, make a result. So def record, a uh, result. Uh, let me. So def name. What is name, address, and age here? No, well, there are the uh, the things in the record. Oh yeah, we don't have the. Okay, so this is gonna be result. How do you make yeah. polymorphic? Crap? A result. A result shouldn't really be this, right? It should be like a. No, but we don't have algebraic data type, so we need to make it a record. Yeah, we need to mock them, right? Mm, how do we mock them? And 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 how do we mock the polymorph the polymorphic behavior? Is that possible? Oh yes. Uh, instead of result, make a make sh 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 make okay instead of result. That's okay. Yeah. Why uh, okay? Are we gonna use okay? I don't like okay. Find another name. Just of the either. No man, either. it's not a just. It's an either. Yeah. What? Okay, the, the, the reader has re right and left. Wait, what you talking about, man? Oh, wait, now right I am confused. Left? Oh, you're talking about I this. I want to make, yeah, no, but, uh, yes, but I don't want to make the either. I want to make it separated because in that way, you're going to have always to declare both, right? I want to make a record for OK and another record for error. You see? Why? Because they will be, they will act like wrappers. They're not really types. We don't need to worry with that. Um, 
So you want to make the okay and the error, you want to make them separate records, is that right? Yes. Okay, yeah, exactly. so we need to have names for both, for all three of them. Yeah, but I don't want to use error nor okay. So failure and success, I think that's fine. Okay, so success. And then we're going to have an attribute here, which is... Value, I don't know. Value, okay. Um, and the failure... And the failure will be basically this. Well, it's also a def record, right? Yeah. Uh, it will be failure. Reason. Sorry, oh... Uh, and reason. Reason, okay, that's, that's yeah. not that bad. Okay, and then, and then either... You can either. No, you can't remove either. Okay, so we're not gonna bind them together? Well, like we don't have types anyway, so... <laughs> Let's embrace it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let me actually see, I don't know if we have... We probably have, like we can do a def type, something like this. Uh, uh, and you have yeah, let's the reach. either <laughs> in LFA. Types, uh, types mode. Type. Don't search like that, man, you're not gonna find anything. Can you have either... Type in LFA programming language. Why is it learning not possible? <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> okay, there are you there are user defined types. We can do that. Okay, so how Ooh, okay. how do you define a type LFA? So it's a def type foo. Let me send you here the link. Uh, go through Discord. It's on their GitHub. So we have those types. They're mapping to their Erlang garbage. LFA type. Yeah. Do we have a topo? Oh, we do. Yeah. Okay, so we can kind of mimic the... Yeah, but look at the types there. So dev type, uh, da da da, and then it is making a tuple oh. or something. Yeah, but this can't this can't be a polymorphic then. We're gonna have to hard code. We don't need that, man. No, we don't need. I agree, but it's just like super ultra convenient. <laughs> uh, let's copy this. Okay, so oh yeah, so we have a tuple which is gonna be. Uh, wait. What is happening here? Type oh, it's the I type fool. Yeah, it's getting by symbol. So change the name to either. Either. Mm -hmm. And then the type is gonna be either, I guess. Either. Yeah. And then we're and gonna then have these two records, know. right? Yeah, but what are the types we have there? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, the reason. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's going to be value? Is that it? No, no, no. That should be success. Yeah. And failure. Failure. You think uh, this is going to work? Uh, swap the order. I don't think it matters, but swap the order. Uh, yeah. Try now to evolve. Control. It's control X, control R, or control C, control, control C, R? Control C, control R. Exception, undefined function that define yes. type. That seems bad. Well, people don't use that, right? <laughs> <laughs> that seems really bad. Uh, how do you, can you define a type then? If this is not like in the language. Probably it's inside some module. Okay, so def type LFA mm -hmm. programming language. Like this. Oh, just... Man, um, where is like Stack Overflow posts about this crap? There, dude, nobody uses this. Yeah, no, I'm starting to see that. Okay, this is Lisp with Erlang. Definitely nobody yeah. uses this. Yeah, of course not, man. <laughs> nobody uses Erlang. People are gonna use Erlang with Lisp? No. <laughs> there is a book on this, by the way. You know that uh, SIGP? Yes. Uh, there is a version written in, in this. Yeah, but there is the, the, this that book has a bunch of versions in a bunch of uh, go ways. go down, go down, go on the quick start, uh, LFA style guide is that one or the LFA tutorial? Yeah, search for uh, that. Search for search type. Yeah. Dev type. 
Nothing in the tutorial. Search for type. Type. Sequential programming, macros, installing, downloading, programming lists, scope of variables, auto. <coughs> what is type in LFA? Well, what do you mean by type in LFA, my dude? Oh, wait. Uh, we could make it all a tuple and use atoms like we but do that's, in our life. <laughs> that's. <laughs> Uh, wait, so That's this funny. is just a lie, this then? This needs to be a yeah. lie. I mean, I, this could be design, I don't know, I didn't pay attention. But let me try to r r do something here with a tuple, just a second. And we also have modules. What is the fundamental difference of a module? Because if it is the same meaning as OCaml, maybe this is the way we can make types. I don't think so. But just the fact that we have we have pattern matching, man. Like, oh, we could make a tuple, man. Yeah, dude, we could make a tuple. Okay, so that's fine. We can do either. Yeah, okay, levels. We can do this, man. Do what exactly? Uh, like we can do. Oh man, it, now it would be handy if I could type. But anyway, what uh, what I'm talking about is we can do tuple like you're doing there, pass a symbol to it and two values. So what we would have in there, like remove the def type. Remove this and the either as well. Remove this outer parentheses as well. Yeah, now evolve this. Ctrl X, Ctrl E. I don't know if it evolves. Ident region, whatever, I don't think so. Ctrl C, Ctrl R. Undefined function success. So you maybe... didn't evolve the record? Yes, it's possible. Okay. Uh, no, Still. yeah, you you got to make the record. So it's like, it, that's just the nothing there. So remove the, the success and the failure. Just put nothing there. Wait, put no... Oh, here you mean? Yeah, just re no, just remove... Yes, just remove them. Remove and do a make. No, 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 dude. Remove this. Yes. And now do make record being parentheses. No, inside parentheses. Make, I think it's not make record. Make dash success. And then pass a value. I don't know, ABC. Here? No, inside. Make oh, success. Here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, a string? Yeah. A string. Uh, exception, expand macro, missing field ah, value. Uh, oh, we don't have value. a field. Value before the success. Value before... Value after the success, sorry. Before the string. There. You're not passing the thing. Oh, here? Yeah. This is really weird. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we can do that, you see? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so this Not is gonna be probably garbage. be make uh, failure. No, you don't need to make them both, man. Dude, ignore the idea of types now for a second. Like That's ignore hard. that. We're just gonna <laughs> use like that. That's what I'm saying. Wait, but now I, okay. my my question is, what's make success doing then? Creating a record. A record with which value inside? A B C. But it's creating a success record. Yes. But that's not what we want, right? Why not? We want success and failure, don't we? What? Yes, what is the problem? You can make another either tuple that has either and failure. So that's why I'm saying you ignore the idea of types. Like, if this is just a tuple. Like, this is a dummy tuple. Okay, so it's a tuple that has a symbol and a content inside. Yeah, that's it. And this so content is always a success. Yes. Yeah, so the name is wrong. That's why I'm confused. Dude, ignore that. Let's focus on the record. Let's do the, the other things first, and then you can fix that. That's just like, that's useless now. Let's do the input. We need to do input first. So just comment this line for now. This one? Yeah. Uh, it's the same? Yeah, it is the same. Mm -hmm. 
So do a def record. Now this is a record. Uh, input, I don't know, whatever. Uh, which is the input for the parser. And then you're going to have two things. Uh, text, like, I don't know, yeah, contents, whatever. And uh, the position you are currently in. The position? I, I don't know, man. I'm bad at names. Wait, the position, are you sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they... You gotta keep track on where you stopped. But isn't but the entire you, idea... Just follow me, man. No, no, just no, no, no. But I, no, I will make questions because I also want to understand mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Uh, so my question now becomes, isn't this the parsed thing and this is the remaining text? Yes. So we don't want, we don't need to have to know where we stopped. You need the A is the type, is the thing. The A is the thing. The A is the rest of the text. Like the string is just the parsed context, uh, the parsed content. So what matched out of this? Okay, maybe That's it's easier to me to explain with an either... example. I'm talking about we have string that goes to this. Yes, man. And then my question becomes this. Okay, no, we have it's A that goes to that. Sorry? It's A that goes to that. A it's is the A. input. Oh, A? A? No, yeah. it's a string. Parser A, string, which no, is a no, function. No, forget the A. This is just a, per, 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 a polymorphic crap. Okay, what you just want to see the function. This is the okay. input, the entire input. Yes. So let's suppose A, B, C. So we have this. We have A, B, yes. C, D. And then after parsing, providing this function, we should have, for instance, I don't know, we should have a tuple. Uh, and let's suppose that you have a type here. So let's say this is an atom, A, with a string inside, A. And the remaining string would be B, C, D, don't? Like this. Isn't this the, the meaning? Yes. So we don't, we don't need a, a, an integer to, to know where we stop. If you want to make error messages, you do. Oh, you're already too advanced. Okay. Okay, so this is I the position. Wanna, yeah, if you start doing it now, it's better to make with other messages already, so we know where it's stopping. Okay, okay, you convinced me. So, okay, that's just a, an integer where you're stopping the thing, and that makes it easier to index as well. Okay. Uh, because you can have parsers, for example, that they match and they do not consume the thing. Yes, 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 yes. yes and yes. that is a problem. Like, if, you do, if you're not tracking, then you lose it. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, 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 I think that's, yes, that's it for the, yes, that's it for now. Okay. Now do an error. Like this is literally, I don't know, how should we name this? Like this is the parser error, uh, um, which is like a description and the position as well. This could be wrapped in another thing, but I think, yeah, it's better to do this. Uh, so this is... Wait, this is the input. So this is where we are and the content. And this is the parser error. Do parser, type parser, slash, error. And do the same with the input. Otherwise, we're going to get... Oh, confused. yeah. <laughs> okay. So parser, like this. Slash, yeah. Okay. Ah, fix that. Fix the parentheses, please. That's giving me. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So I don't know message and the position. Okay. Now the the thing that we need to wrap now is the parser itself. So do another type of the record called parser. Isn't this a string? How are we gonna make that happen? No, it's, oh, a it's a function. Sorry. Yes. I'm so happy. you're gonna take. Uh, just call it evaluator. How do you? How do you I think yeah, we evaluator? need to receive like no, you string don't. here. No. No, 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 no. You don't. You're gonna pass a function that receives. Yeah, but how are we gonna make that in Lisp? Oh, a lambda. Uh, did we use that in Letris? I don't think so. Okay, that's why I don't we're know. We're gonna how to use Okay, so do a, like an evaluator, I don't know, just, uh, that's a, it's too big though. No, that's fine, that's fine. Evolve. So, I don't know. No, it's, it's the guy that, run, runner. 
run, run parser from okay. yes, that's it. Perfect. No, run parser is better. Yeah. Okay, so mm -mm, that's it. Now, what we need to do? So there are three essential things we need to do. Wait, wait. The let's first... document the scrap. So this is the raw input uh, from the file. Uh, just go to the bathroom real quick. I'll okay, be back in a second. This is the error message that the parser will generate. This is the parser record that calls. Uh, there's a name for this. Uh, run parser. Oh, this is. Oh no. They don't use it in here. Uh, what? Yeah, that paper is not using the. the what, thing. the run parser? Yeah. Why well, is just the lambda inside, man? No, I know. Uh, it takes. I want to remember the simplest possible signature for this to documentation. Because this is. This well, we can make parser, inside the run. Do it inside with a doc string inside the record. Oh, that's great. We can do that right now. Okay, so it's going to be doc. How will we... No, no, no. Just a string. Oh, here, right? Yeah. String. Uh, here. And then we just like this. Mm -hmm. Look at us, man. We're doing documentation. It's almost like we care. Yes, <laughs> for the ch for the kids in the future, so they know. Uh, okay, so I need, but I need to document this. This is this. Uh, what run parser does? It picks a, a an input. It picks an in, it picks an input. Yes. This function picks an input, a parser, and returns a new parser. I guess. And returns yes, but bound with a value. So it returns a tuple. Uh, bound with the already. No, a tuple with a bound input. It's a bound input. Okay. A bound, a bound value plus the new value. Yes, that's right. Okay, so. Going. Okay. So, to do, do, do new line. We can do specs, by the way, which are like types. We can do that. We just gotta know how, but I don't want to lose time with that now. Okay. So, let's do the mapper. So, we need the map, the bind, and I think the while. So, we can actually do something. Wait, Cause the, the rest map? Okay, we need functor, the monads, because we need the bind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we need. Uh, while to while. keep iterating over but we can do the... while with the recursion yeah yeah so we already have while but it's gonna be inside the lambda so that's why oh, that's but anyway <laughs> so, <laughs> so do, we, we don't have while there by the way so we're gonna have to do with recursion anyway so let's do the map so def uh yes it's a function that will take a function that takes a to a b. No, Wait, it's what do you mean? A to a b, like a generic types I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Take one thing to another. Yeah, so but then that's... we have okay. So this yeah, is just, just so for... you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I know. Just... Let me do documentation here. So this function do it inside, man. a to b. No, no, no. This is for me, not for the people. Yeah, you can do it for the people as well. Why? Don't you like the people? It should be <laughs> enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> to be enlightened. <laughs> uh, why is this different? I'm doing something I, wrong, I guess. I that's yeah, that's weird. Okay, what's the next Maybe parameter? The record is actually an orthodox string. Well, that's weird. Anyway, uh, so the f that's the function. Uh, we need also a parser. Uh, well, it's just a parser, the type. And we're gonna spit a... Uh, it's actually a parser of A, 
and then we are going to split a parser of B. Which so makes we a lot are mapping. Yeah, no, this is yes, exactly we are a mapping functor. Sign. Yeah. Uh, parser B. Okay, we need to do a let, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, so let's think now. So we need to get the thing, uh, wrap what is inside, run the function, and evolve. So, yeah, so let's do the following. Oh, wait, we do have pattern matching. Yes, we do. Uh, no, but we, we don't have product what types, do so it doesn't matter. What? Yeah, because the whole purpose of having the pattern matching is to unwrap the parser product type from this. Yeah, because here's the thing. We're Yeah, but we can do that. We're going to have uh, a run. Wait, yeah, wait. Okay, let's... Wait, but just just for me to understand, this parser is this guy. Yeah. But this guy only has a run parser function. Yes, we're going to pick the function inside, run with the input that you are going to pass, creating a new record, and then we are going to wrap the thing with an f or x. Let me send you the example I did in Elisp, mm -hmm. just so you know what I'm talking about. But isn't That's it... like a convoluted example, by the way, I don't want to do that. Isn't like this? Uh, wait. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, actually. No, wait. That's wrong. We need to get the function inside. Yeah, but isn't how you do the get the thing inside? Oh, yeah. Right. We're getting right. That, that's right. Okay, so you're just like doing the, the exact. Okay, yeah. that's right. Sorry. And then we also have. Uh... The function which we don't need to pattern match at all so this, this is just wrong and then this okay uh, here i found the code so the example that i was doing i think i was basing myself on zozin makes sense but that was that ended up like very weird because well how do you wrap things man how do you construct a new record in li in this? How do you map things? What do you mean? No, because we already have the... Uh, Look at the example I sent you. Parser.create. Yeah, I made that function that creates a parser. And then I just pks, which is like kind of pattern matching. And then I'm just saying, okay, try to apply getting this thing with a new input and creating a new function. For the thing, all with like a partial evaluation. That's a partial. I mean, the Lisp back yeah, tick. Yeah, yeah, back tick. No, that's terrible. It's terrible. It's horrible. <laughs> yes, it works, <laughs> but it's horrible. So yeah, but my question it, is, how do you create a record in LFA? Well, we did one. Death record. But you can do oh, it you like in the middle of one? this. Oh, you want to make another one? Yeah, yeah, make record. Oh, make. Record parser, uh, and inside here we put fun call function. And you forgot the parentheses. You forgot the parentheses. Yeah. Uh, is it like this? Uh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. No, that's function. Why are you calling the function and passing the other function? Because this here. No, man, wait. This, what we need to run here is assign the new function, the new lambda we are going to create to the previous, uh, to another make record. So let's ignore the make record for now. Mm. Okay. And let's just do like in normal Lisp. So delete this line. I should understand what is wrong with it, but okay. Delete this line for a second. Okay. Now do inside the let, go down. And now let's do, we need to run this exec, so funcal exec, over the input. That we don't have. We do. We don't. We do, because this input will be inside the, it will be the parameter for the new lambda that we want to create. Oh, so you want to create uh, a new lambda, how we do that? Yes, well, lambda. What do, you, what do you mean? We have lambda. this, we Type have lambda. this. Type lambda. Oh, like this. 
Yes, London. I already forgot and how to do this in, in Lisp crap. You don't need parentheses? You need. Yeah. You don't London. question if you need parentheses, man. You just do. Uh, uh, Lambda Lisp. I already forgot. You just add the. Parameters and body, okay. Yeah. Parameters and body. Normal function. Yeah, so these, you're gonna have an input. Yes. And then you're gonna put more parentheses. And yeah. you do input here. Ident, please, ident, please, ident, ident. Uh, what do you mean by ident? There. Yes, thank you. So, <laughs> we're gonna now do a... We now, need to wrap everything in the make record now. Dude, remove the outer, less, uh, outer let. I think that would just make you illegible because I want to make another let inside. That would make it worse. <laughs> so just copy that. Okay, that's so just fair. That. That's yeah. fair. Okay. And inside this phone call, you... Inside. Yeah, it to get this exec again. So run parser. Run parser, parser. Is it how you get the stuff? Let me just confirm. Just a second. Records. Uh, rec oh. oh, yes, it is. Yes, okay, it nice. is. I'm okay. okay, so. Uh, ta -ta -ta. We need to wrap everything in a record now. Now, after the. No, this phone call, the result of this phone call, you're going to do a let. With this expression inside the let. Okay, so it's gonna be like. And you're let. gonna call it, I don't know, output. Like, uh, a, it's output. Sort of, think of a better name. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, this seems to be correct. So it's in. No, it's not in here. Definitely not in here. It's lacking one. In here. No, it's lacking one parenthesis, you mean? Yeah, in the end. Oh, here. Actually, two. Yeah, here. one more. Yes. Uh, no, no, here. No. Yes, there. Now, there, you're, we're going to read literally match. So... We're going to match. Okay. Yes, but can we better match the thing uh, without being an argument of a function? Go to the LFA website. You see what I mean? I know, I see what you mean. Um, um, because we have... Here. Go to functions. You see the pattern matching? Uh, I I see. I totally see. But that. it's inside a function. Do you want to make another function? No. I think I... that would actually be better than a lambda. But it's gonna be man. This this okay, function. Okay, okay. Let's, let's this go. is a okay. map. This should be really short. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's just go. So we need to to basically get the input, because remember that function should spit a uh, tuple of input. The new input, the parsed one, and the OK, which is the the parameter that that you matched in that crap. Yeah, but how you do better matching without being a function? Well, I don't know. That's the question. Better matching. Okay, the quick start guy doesn't have record sequential. I mean, let me see here. LFA better match. We could make a function man, for that. That's actually better. Because we're going to do this all the time. So it's better to make a pattern matching function that spits, that the, we pass a high order function and it does the stuff for, for us. Uh, I don't like that, but okay. Matching Why, in guards in scope of variables. Because yes. I think the pattern matching oh, is here. only on the scope. Okay. We have guards also, which so the, of course is the win. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go with your approach because even if I I'll think make it's another a... form, another function that basically is the matcher. So I don't know how you want to call it. Yeah, yeah matcher. Matcher. So we have an output, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. Uh, actually, it's the new input. So, well, we receive something. Oh, yeah. It's, this, is is, the, this is a new input. I agree. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. This is actually uh, uh, a match that will be inside that let. So, we need to, to... It's the output that we are passing there, which is a tuple of input plus a uh, result. So, it should be, I should be able to pattern match here, right? Yes. Yeah, so, new line. 
on the on this scrap before no before before yes if, yes there so there we are gonna do but that's the thing how do we pattern match stuff no but that's i don't think that's possible actually because in the site what is happening is like oh no it is. yeah it, it is, is yeah it is it is it is it should be it's our lang so <laughs> it should be but what, let's think of what is the structure the structure is it's a, a tuple. tuple so how do we pattern match a tuple there that's the thing the manual suck so i don't know uh i think it's just another list yeah i think it is just another list what do you mean to to pattern match a tuple you're gonna have to use parentheses the and crap another parentheses and then you do the first thing, which is, I don't know, input. Like this? Yes. And the second, I don't think you need the comma. And the second will be... Uh, uh, parser, that's a parser, right? No, it should be the parser error or a parse... No, sorry, it's the types that we declared up there, which is the success or, or... No, it's the success or the other garbage. A failure. Or failure, yes. Input. Yeah, but in the but, failure, we don't care about this, I guess. We do. We need to propagate. Yes, we do. Because we want to get the position. Although the error... Yeah, okay. Propagate it. Yes. But that's the thing. I don't know if the success and the failure will be identified as like proper types. Because, well... <laughs> I don't think they will. If see, this is our strategy, if this is our strategy, definitely not. Definitely not. So we could make something like a... Uh, oh, okay, let's do the following. Remove the either. Uncomment this line. Remove the either symbol. And... Yes. Uh, they both receive generic stuff, right? So let's do like this. Let's just do a tuple. Remove this crap. No, yeah, just tuple of a symbol, like a success. I think I was doing that in Lisp. Yeah, success, and then the value. Like, I don't know, a string. Just try. With that, we can pattern match. Yeah, but we're also going to have to have, like, a, a failure also. Yes. So those are just examples, but I think that's better. Okay. You could also make the either a record. Right? The either a record. Yeah, and then always one of them will be empty and the other one. Record? I don't know. How you pattern mention a record? That's actually a very good question. And the thing that yeah, sucks is that the documentation much. sucks. Yes. Uh, if you no. pattern matching record LFA programming language, yeah, nothing, you're gonna find any. You're not gonna find something useful. Java crap. How life. Nice. It changed to life because, well. Better matching your language. Yeah, LFA is totally unknown. We are totally in un unexplored waters here. And yeah, we, we did F sharp for a year. Let's ignore that. <laughs> okay, then. So we don't know how to better match a record. So we're going to have to use tuples, which suck. Because yeah, they're no, not binding in any manner. I don't think they suck. They do. No, they don't, man. They no, do. it, it should still receive the input. Wait. Uh, actually, to, 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 let me see. No, yes, we should receive an. Do the following. Instead, instead of the tuple success and only the thing, it should be tuple success and two things, which is the input and the value. Yeah, but do the value, the input, uh, before the success yes <laughs> like that and comment those lines because they're just like for first to know which line oh this okay yeah and the failure should also have a thing which is there a message that we're gonna pass the parser error there Wait, now I'm really confused. I'm really confused. Ignore that. Is this the Ignore. input? Is this the input? Yeah. But isn't this this? Yes. So, how how come? How are we gonna? This is not this. This is a record, right? Yes. 
We're gonna have tax and we have position. Where we are are we matching this? We're not gonna match this. We just want the 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 normal dude. We want to match this the atom there, which is the success or the failure. Oh, we're gonna ignore these. Yes. Okay. No, we're not gonna ignore. We're just gonna get them like a variable. Like that. Uh, you see? We're gonna have a value here. And you're gonna I'm have sure. a message here. Yes, but just do a, do a thing first. No, no, dude, why are you ignoring those? No, man, you should have them. Input. Yes, we want them. And in each case, so... Which I don't know uh, how do, to do. Do just a print, man, do just a print. Uh... Oh, each one is a list by itself. Yes. Okay, so this is wrong. Because this needs to be like this. And this needs to be like this, yes. And it's then like here we do print. this. Yeah, and then I do a print. Uh, print value. IO. 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 No, 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 no. Wipe. Delete. IO. Yeah, F right. And then you're going to format this crap with. Um, no, 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 dude. No, dude, this is Lisp, man. Oh, doing? this is not interrupting, then. Yeah, this is Lisp. It is interrupting with within fixed syntax. <laughs> what, do you, what, what, what do you think you're doing, man? What the heck? Uh, do you have to put through here also? Uh, no, you don't have the T there. Okay. You have the... <laughs> Yeah, you have tilde p tilde do another p again. Mm hmm I'll just go to our GitHub just for a second because I want to get something out of there. And those needs to be in the list, by the way, the input and success. Uh, but that will force. I don't know if that will force it to evolve. Do a back tick because in the example it was with a back tick. Man, which list. one of them? No, the list. Yes, oh, the list here. was. In, yeah, and then do a comma comma. <laughs> yeah, because it gotta be a list, I think. So that makes sense. Uh... Otherwise, it's gonna be. A Okay, uh, let's try to evolve that function, the map, map matcher. matcher. No, ju just evolve that function. Let's try, man. Evolve these, right? Yes. Let's see if this works. Or pattern okay. matching. Okay, now try to send a, a tuple, like map Wait, matcher. Uh, how do you do the crap? Ctrl X plus? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Map matcher. Uh, tuple, a uh, parenthesis, right? Tuple, and do like I don't know a string ABC. Wait, uh, there's another question actually that I want to I want to understand. Uh, this is a tuple, but we are like binding three things: an input, an atom, and this, right? Mm -hmm. How is this a tuple then? What do you we mean? have three things. What's the problem? A tuple can be multi. Okay, Number. so it's a triplet, okay. Yeah, it's a triplet, not okay, a tuple. Okay, the name is really bad, okay. Uh, let's put, I don't know. ABC. Uh, no, not this. Success. Yeah, write something actually, so we know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. And the value, oh, the value can be true, and this will be a high one. And undefined function map matcher. This seems to be a problem with the package crap that we had in letters all the time. <laughs> but you evolved the thing correctly. Yeah, that's true. So that's... That seems to indicate that we... Oh, dude. Oh, man. Uh, look at the map matcher signature. Like it's better matching input, success, and value. Yeah. What's so the... remove the tuple. I'm conf really confused. Remove the tuple. Those are arguments. It's understanding as arguments. Oh, yeah, we are dumb. 
Okay, that's fine. We can ditch the... No, remove the parentheses. Yeah, this is function... Uh, we're calling a function. Symbol success is unbound. Oh! Wait, this is also incorrect. Oh, you were evaluating success on the... Can you activate lines? Lines? What do you mean? Uh, meta X. Linux mode. Oh, yeah, but the, the, the theme is broken. Oh, your theme, man. Okay, you can deactivate it again. <laughs> <laughs> because it's even worse, right? Okay, okay so just uh, that evaluation. Uh, oh, this should be value. Yeah. And this should yeah, be message. I just yeah. want to see which case it is falling. Okay. Uh, contract, contracts O, this, go. Okay. Literally yeah. okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's it, man. Yeah, the map is uh, working then. Yeah, that's good. So now we can do the following. So we want to now spit again the same structure. So instead of the print there, yeah. remove this print. Oh, I can't remove it with Control K because I'm going to lose the parentheses. So it needs to be like this. <laughs> the fear is real. Uh, and oh, doing... wait, remove one. Wait. Uh, wait this, this is extra? No, something is really wrong here. Is Just there... look at the where it points, man. Look at what? Oh, sir? Go to the end of the line. Remove, remove, remove. Now add one. And remove there, yeah. Okay. And now we have something like this, yes. So on the success case, what we're going to do? Let's see for what we're gonna do. We gonna make a success of uh, no. How no, we need to return a, a parser here. No, no, dude, ignore this make success record garbage. Okay. We're gonna speed the same thing we got, which is uh, the input. Yeah, the input. It's basically like a mo yeah, yeah, a moment, right? Yeah, but <laughs> this needs to be wrapped in a tuple now. Mm, why then? Well, oh, it could be a list as well. Yeah, it could be a list. But no, let's but I think the list will suck. Why, the, why would the list, list suck, man? Because lists suck, usually. And it's, uh, and by the way, it's only the input. And the second thing is the success value. No, it's success. It is success. But the value is the function applied to the value so we there's need no, another parameter yeah, there, there's that's not gonna happen uh you make a new list make a new what sorry make a new parenthesis there closing Here? yeah closing go to the beginning go to the beginning of the line man oh here make a new one like this no no just open Yes, wrap this in another, yeah. And then the first position will be the function, or the second, doesn't matter. Um, uh, the value applied to a function, right? So the phone call function, could just call f, man. That's better. So just well, change that. To be more closer to a, to a, a freaking... Uh, uh, okay. And in the error, we're just gonna spit the input and a uh, failure with the message. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Wait. I'm super duper confused right now. On what? Oh, it's because we don't know how to do pattern matching aside from a, a def fun. That's why it's dumb like this. Yes. Okay. And I think it's actually better because it would be convoluted to do it otherwise. And the function you need to pass with a, a hashtag. Ah, hashtag. Oh, yeah. I remember that from Latris. And tick. Like a uh, quote. Simple. No, no. no like after. this. Yeah. I that. remember this. I remember this. Ah, uh, yeah. Pretty bad. All of and, this because I don't know how to do wait, better wait, match. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> No, but wait, uh, what is the function there? What is the function? 
Yes, what, what is the function? The what? function is the first parameter, which is function. So change the name, you see it's highlighting? I think that's wrong. Oh, you mean like here? Yeah, F. Yeah, just pass F. Like in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, but uh, man, we should definitely try to discover how to do pattern matching aside from the funds. We should definitely do that. No, we will. I just want to see if this is, will map something. Okay, so let's evaluate all of this. Yeah. Illegal characters. How nice. Mm. Okay, so let's go one by one. I think it's oh, phone call? Phone call there. Here? Yeah. What is the problem with this phone call? Hashtag, hashtag quote on F. Oh, here. Yeah. We are, we don't need this in the parametric, right? No, yeah, but sense. I think the er there is something else. Let me see. Illegal character F. Like the matcher, you see it's fa failing there? Yeah. So let's do one by one then. Let's do one by one. That's not a problem. We don't need these records anymore, right? No, no, we can remove them. Yeah. Okay, so let's try this guy. No, those those things are working. Like no, they're fine. No, it's not. What? Function Extending. clause error. Uh, function clause what? You already evolved this, didn't you? No, I didn't. Parser input and parser. Oh, error. the slash in LFA understands as a RT. So change to I don't know, man. Dash. Yeah, I don't like the dash because that will fuck up the record constructor, but that's fine. What do you mean fuck up the, the record constructor? It will be like make parser dash input, like, you see, you instead of just... Yeah, you can. That's kind of cursed, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, same problem. Yeah, so I, I guess we have to try with dash for now. No, same problem again. Are you sure we can do documentation like this? I don't think so. Because you see the highlight is different. Yeah. There's nothing. Don't bother looking. There's nothing. No, don't we have something, man. No, man. No, I give up. I gave up. You gave up. Search for doc string. <laughs> yeah, man. Just give up. Just do intuition. Just do intuition. Mm. Documentation string. Yeah, we don't have. Dude, what a useless piece bother. of documentation. Yeah, just do a commentary. <laughs> oh, man. That's bad. <laughs> okay, now it's accepted. Okay. Yeah, because it wasn't understanding the string as part of the record for some reason. Uh, <laughs> you don't know how to, you don't know how to do it, and you don't have documentation. What do you do? You do the dumbest way possible. Yeah. <laughs> That's the philosophy that we are encouraging right now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Got a problem? <laughs> yeah, no, but you still have a problem. We yeah, still we still have, have that, that issue. So let's try to see. Illegal characters, blah, 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 F. Bad form oh, application. Slash. Oh, wait. We need to do a make record at some point. We are not. Yeah, but I just want to test if it will speed the thing. Man. That's all. So do oh, okay. a slash on the F, F application. You see there? Here? There as well, but I'm talking about the other one down there. No, down here. Yes. Uh, do f slash uh, one. Yeah, it's like that. Try. Try to just evolve the one, the one downwards. Yes. Did it work? Yes. No, it didn't. Oh, yeah, it, it did. did. So, yes, you need to pass the error That's actually good. It's like a form of typing in a function. Mm, I wouldn't classify this as for uh, well, as doing the not. type. But... Okay. So now let's try to jam something inside that with a function to map. 
So do the following. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if we have set Q. We probably do. Try to set Q. Don't look at the documentation. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a waste of time, man. Just set Q. Uh, probably don't, but like try A. Uh, record, I don't know, test input, something like this. And then make a parenthesis, make in between parenthesis. Make a parser input. No, dash, parser, in, dash, input. And then you pass text. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I did one with the dot, so maybe the slash works. Oh, yeah, probably does. Yeah, the problem was the string. Oh, yeah. Yeah, much better. Okay. And then pass text. ABC. And then position zero. In that row. So this what? Okay. <laughs> this what? It doesn't exist, yeah. Dude. Uh, no, like you're looking at the Erlang doc, like that that will not exist. Well, we don't know. We have integer to list. Who knows? Dude, that's Erlang. You're looking. You gotta look in like LFA stuff. That's not gonna. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, how do we bind, a, dude? If we can't bind a value to a thing, that's kind of stupid already. We don't know. We're not try even trying the documentation. Man. We're not even trying. Yeah, try. Okay, let's see if you find something. <laughs> Set. Set. Okay. Get wrecked. <laughs> you see? It works. Try to call by test input only. No, no. Like this. Like this? Yeah. I think if we better match with the hashtag in the front, it works. I think. Let's try, let's try, let's try. Uh, but we don't want to, we don't need to screw this up. No. So, defund test. Uh, you don't receive, yeah, you receive nothing also. Uh, let's make a let, in which we're gonna have, uh, I don't know what, number. Where are we? And then what? we're gonna have a one here. And then the testing will be, what happens if I do number? And then how you do pattern match again? You do like this. Yeah, but that will be in a function, not there. What? Sorry. Those are those are as parameters of a function. You're doing inside the body, again. No, no, no. But that's what I want to tell. Want to try. Okay. I don't know how that works. Nobody does. Uh, we're gonna do a. We don't need more parentheses in this case, I guess. Oh no, we do because of the separation between the thing. We're gonna do a uh, how you do it? F right, and then uh, this, which is fine. And then inside, we're gonna put. Oh, we don't know. We don't. The, we don't need to do it like this. The page in the manual that should talk about better matching is blank. Actually, no, everything in the manual is blank. What the heck? No, not everything. No, on me, it is. Which so manual are you looking loading. for? Oh, okay, no, it was not loading. Wait, let me click again. What the heck, man? It's not. Bad form application. Okay, maybe we found this. <gasps> hoo, 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 hoo. There's no way. Uh, test. It did absolutely nothing. Okay, so it it allows us to do Why this. Why are you doing number? Why are you doing number there? 
Because I want to pattern match number, man. But the number no. is provided in the let. Well, that's not pattern match number. You're thinking of it as a case. What like do you it's mean? Just lose. The numbers just lose there. It's not like sending it to the pattern matching. No, but that's what we need to discover how to do. Yeah, just remove that for now. They remove this, you mean? Yeah. Try. I don't think this will work, but... Yeah, this would be terrible, because then how you yeah. better match when you have yeah, a bunch of prime led stuff, by yeah. yeah, just drop it, just try. Okay, it worked. Yeah, working is not a guarantee, right? And nothing. Yay. Uh, oh, try case, like in Erlang. Try case? Before the, after the number. Parenthesis. Makes case. sense, makes sense. Case, number. number. And then those expressions inside that crap. And the new parenthesis in the end. Like this? Yes. There's no way this works. Oh, well, let's see. <gasps> it worked! <laughs> so there is a case in the LFA. We know that at least. And no. Man, it, that's so stupid. Why we only can do pattern matching in functions? That doesn't make any sense. In, uh, doesn't make any sense at all. Oh. I, I'm not even asking for exhaustiveness. I'm just asking for pattern matching aside oh, from what you set up. Unlike your issue. Yeah, I know we, we couldn't ask for that. Like, that's too much, apparently. A recursive, a recursive function with pattern matching. And the thing that sucks is that... Okay, this is the tutorial. This is not documentation per se. See if you can open the, uh, the book on the command reference. No, LFA style guy. No, that's a rebar garbage. Uh, there is one that there is like better matching in it, but I can't open the thing. No, it's not that, man. Then it's no? not this. Uh, go to the eval. Eval? There, the eval LFA tutorial, man. Wait, I'm You have a tab open, I must. Oh, I have a tab open. Evolve. Look at the left, if you have better matching. I should have sent you the link, Harry. Uh, but there is a, a book there. Click on there. It's the Land of Lisp thing. <laughs> See? The casting spells. <laughs> this <think> <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> better. No, don't search by those. Just search by like sample code. Just go clicking in stuff. Objects, locations. Getting function. Looking around the game world. Thinking patterns. Okay, this is how we know how to do it, which is fine. Do we have any parametric aside from this? No, this is a function. Oh, dude, let me send you this link here. Match state? Match state? I don't know. That could be. I think we found it. I try. Wait. Is this... Match. This is better matching four things? I sent you the link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's done, bud. It's done. <laughs> Well, wait, 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 but isn't this kind of... Can we... Uh... Try again. Okay, so... This is how you do coding without documentation, folks, by the way. Uh... I it's... think the match state is actually a function defined somewhere. But dude, what is case? Like, case must be something. No, case must be something, I agree. Match K and, and there's something the the match state in in this piece of code is highlighted and in my Emacs is not. Search for case only case. Search it with this. Yeah. Case. The case against the the word macro. No. Uh, search on the other garbage I sent you. In 
in both ca case of assignment? No, I don't think that is. Okay, we have let let star, which is this P. We don't have stuff off the maps. We don't have stuff on the tuples. I kind of think it is loading. It is just not showing because of his MD crap. Oh man, we are stupid. Click on the GitHub link there. There and we go. There's the book. Okay, there's a so bunch of them. So if it is not there, then we are screwed. Oh fuck! The the dot is not working. Uh, how am I gonna do this then? Better searching. Better. Yeah, but searching you need you. I would go to the web version of this. I don't know why it's not opening. You're not logged in. You do need to log in to be logged in. Oh, maybe. Repl. Wait, is this the code? Oh, case. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it is better matching. Get wrecked. <laughs> See? Yeah, it is indeed empty, man. The thing is indeed empty. Yeah, like but they this, look, at, look at look at look at look at this, man. I see. This is better matching. Okay. So this need this is we are doing something really wrong then. Uh. We're doing something really wrong. Oh. Uh, parentheses. You think so? Oh, in the here. One. No, 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 no. In the one. In the one. Oh, there. Like this. Yes. It was understanding as a list. Yeah, that's it. No, that's not it. <laughs> Let's assume that this needs to be a, a list. This will be a function, man. That's wrong. Why is it a moment? That's wrong. Okay, what? wrong. Add the add the parentheses back to one. But that's stupid. Like it is wrong. Nothing. Look, go to the example again. Copy that garbage. Try running this. Okay, it worked. Uh, read. Type quit. Are you? Hmm. Can you try in a normal terminal instead instead of a scrap? <laughs> okay, how do I do that? LFA. Okay. Uh, Let's paste the code there. Paste the code. Oh, I can't paste it like this. Because you see, it didn't even print the get line my REPL. Like, you should have printed that. Like this? Didn't. Yeah, like, now it does. So, okay, yeah. so this is just unreliable. <laughs> the, the Emacs is again unreliable. Uh, the interface they made for the thing you can do like this. Do yeah, we can spawn that thing inside the max normally. Yeah. And the function. Okay, Number. now it it starts to make a lot of sense. So this shouldn't be a list, I guess. Yeah. And you also think this is wrong. Yes. And. Based and test. Okay. So there is a way to do pattern match instead of this madness. Okay. So we're it's gonna do it. It is, man. You know it is. No, man. It's not. Um. Yeah, but we're gonna have to put a bunch of parentheses here anyway. This is madness. No, this is okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a new input. No wait. I think I can just do this. Yes, I can. Nice. Remove this, pick. 
and like this, and we are done. Uh, oh, but there's a problem. Is that a problem? No, that, that, yeah, that's not a problem at all. Leg. Just yeah. remove his leg. Oh no! Okay, so remove this. And. Nice! Let see? me see. Let me see. Change the input to new input. Otherwise, you're gonna mess with the. Uh, dash instead of underscore. Dash a new input. Both should be new input on the pattern matching. Oh, it's because we have a, we are inside a yeah. lambda. Good catch. And uh, I don't need oh, to. Oh, we map don't have to map. We don't have to map the yes. I think we can remove parentheses then. Yes, you can. How nice! My pleasure. Okay, try to evolve this again. And we can remove this. And yeah, let's try to just evolve this. I think I pressed a wrong thing. You probably did. Okay. Oh crap. Press control arrow down, it goes blocks, skipping blocks. Uh, but there's a G, whatever is this. I think that's just the terminal printing. Yeah, that's colors in their terminal with uh, control. Okay, do, uh, do, I, I think we still have the, what is the name? Mm -hmm. Test input? Yeah, probably. Test input? No, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, Why? Input test? Was it an input test? No. Nice. You can do a uh, meta what the R. Crap! The, I think this is totally broken now, man. Yeah, I think you broke Emacs. <laughs> control, control, control X, Control K? No. First, no, this. Meta X. No, no, just save the thing, but Meta X. And uh, inferior mode, LFA. Type LFA. No, we just have those, man. Inferior. And then inferior, clear buffer. Yeah, never mind. Just kill that. Yeah, we can just control Three, X, key, this, K, right. and this is the one, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. yes. Run okay. it again. Uh, inferior LFA. Uh, switch. Yeah, increase this. Don't increase the size. Maybe that was it. There's no way. Yeah, that could be, man. <laughs> Mistrustful of everything. Uh, that would be hilarious, but okay. Uh, yeah, I still have, we don't have the his. Oh, man, I should have copied the set. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, set, yeah. test, yeah. input. Uh, how we did it? Do you remember? Make. Make. Bar uh, yeah. Parser input. Yeah. Then we have a uh, text. ABC. Which is ABC in this case, and we have a message which is position zero. No position. Yeah. Undefined uh, function. Oh, I need to evaluate everything again. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's until here we can remove. And that's uh, the, even the module, right? Don't need that. You can just evolve from record, def record, beyond. Def Ignore the main. Here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that get here you also don't need. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, that, that will break. Wait. Yeah, just remove this. Um, okay. Now try, try running. Okay, nice. Copy, copy that crap to your to the buffer man. This. Yeah, yeah, because this is something we are using. So. 
No, don't need you to do that, man. Don't need to comment. Just leave it there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you don't need to be evolved, you let's do some a real trick here. Let's do our macro. So death macro. Where? On the cold. Oh, on the, on on here, you mean? Yeah. Let's do something that closureians do. Death macro. It's a, actually it's already embedded in the language. So comment. And then parameters. And do a, a ampersand. Rest. Um, and then you do like I don't know L. L. Yeah, whatever. And then new line. New. What is this? This is a macro compile. You see. <laughs> No, 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 don't. Yeah, just compile the macro, I mean. Like this. Okay. Now do a, open a comment block. A comment block? You mean. No, comment. I, I don't type know. Much... Comments. Oh, no, type no, no. comments. Yeah, no, expression, man, expression. Dude, parentheses, man. You're, you're keeping wanting to escape from them. <laughs> New line. Now paste the set. Uh, do a print there. No, no. no. So you I, rule. Yeah, so how you do print? Parentheses. Yes. I O F right. Yeah, something. I don't know. Something. Try to evolve this. Error. <laughs> what the hell? <heck? laughs> Is that how you do like arguments though? I don't know. It allowed to evolve, so I think it they're should be... expanding comment. No, yes, it should expand to what's, new. Yeah, what's the Oh, you want this to become new. Yes. But why I want like a very attic stuff in there you see like i want any any consume any garbage and return nothing yeah no i i i saw that but i want i just wanted to send the like anyway let's go back to our thing we are almost there man but dude, what the heck we can't do very antic arguments that's stupid a lot of things are stupid in life man that's fine no dude, that's beyond stupidity like <laughs> <how can> you... <laughs> Uh, anyway, where was where were we? Okay. okay. Uh, we scrap with a test input and a function, but let's define that function first. Do a test fun. Let's have fun. Uh, test. Test fun. Uh, and it's gonna receive uh, I don't know. An input. Yes. And it's gonna. Do a uh, Erlang. This function you gotta have string. in mind that it's gonna take the. How can I say? Let me just increase the, the thing here, man, on Discord because it's. can barely see your screen. Uh, wait, this is gonna be a string. How you calculate, no. how you this, calculate function, the this function will consume a string. And just truncate the string, something like that. Oh, that's better. How yeah, you do that? Truncate the first one. How you do that? We have also Erlang lists. Erlang lists. Here. We can make our own subtraction function, something like this. Nah. Uh, do you have for... take? Do we have take? Here. We... Search for string. Do we have a string module in Erlang? That's a good question. Do we have? A... Yes. Okay. So equal join left replace. Don't have any takes or drops. Never man anything. Take like a... nice. Yeah, it could be replace whatever. Doesn't uh... matter. Why does it receive characters? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't have any documentation. <laughs> okay, so string take, you pick this. Why? A, B, C, A to Z. 
What oh, the f you are truncating and you are defining, right? Everything between A and Z, I guess. Why? I just <laughs> slice. Slice, yes. Slice. We have a string and a start. Oh, the point to start slicing, maybe. So okay, let's do slice one. So string, uh, not this. Oh, you lift the string. Yeah. Uh, slice is gonna be input, and let's do two. And remove that Erlang integer to string crap. Like this, right? It's evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's evil. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do it then. So this is gonna be map. Just, yeah. Uh, F is test fun. Yeah, but you gotta pass with the hashtag test... quote. Oh yeah, because this is a like a partial rating. Uh -huh. right? Yeah. And we also have test input. Mm -hmm. Illegal characters. Maybe parentheses. Not entirely sure. No, wait. There's something wrong. Yeah, there's something definitely wrong. I can't type anything. <laughs> Ctrl X A. Uh, yes. Oh, wait. I think... A minute. Here... No. Oh. What's the, the problem? Parser, you you sent the 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 record of the input to the parser. That's wrong. I sent. What did you send? You sent the test input. Okay, the test input was the parser, right? Yeah. Yeah. Make parser input. Mm. Yeah. So well, let's try. Dude, see if that function is right. The string is lice. Okay, let's see if this, if this thing is right. So, string, slice. Uh, let's provide, I don't know, ABC. ABC. And yeah. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is indeed. So, it should evolve that function. Yeah. In. with Map. the value. Uh, okay. Hashtag this test fun. And test input. Yeah, we don't have. Do we have the test input? Yes, we do. Yeah, okay. Illegal characters. Wait, wait, wait. And now I can type. Okay, what is illegal characters test fun? Um, wait, remove the hashtag. Quote. Oh, isn't the arity? Oh, yes, slash one. Slash one. Yeah. Slash one. We gotta remember that, man. Yeah, that's this it. Is no. wrong. Wait. Yeah. It's the input, so that is the new evaluation of the thing. That's wrong, man. So, wait, man. Read. Parser input ABC. So it didn't change the value. Oh yeah, but what is this? Oh, the pattern matching is wrong. Pattern We're not pattern matching. Uh, uh, how can I say? Like, what is output? Output should be. Do you agree that output is another uh, function? Output is another function. Sorry, it's another record. It is another record indeed. Yeah. So we are not better matching a record. We're just better matching like freestyle arguments. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, back so to the documentation. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's returning a map. Do you see there? No, yeah. eh? Dude, that's wrong. Oh, man. It's calling another function, not ours. Change the name to parser slash map. <laughs> no, no, change the code. Oh, the code also. Yeah. Wait, but how it allows us to... That, that... I don't know. No. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. No, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, so parser. <laughs> Slash. Now it should break on the output, I think. What is this? <laughs> okay, that's right. Because we are making a new lambda. So run a uh, our oh crack. that's now we, this is where okay we need to give this a name also yes so so no here that's the thing we need to create a parser now 
Because think above is like what we are wrapping to the following lemmas. Remove the lambda for now, just for testing purposes. Just comment the lambda line. Comment. But can't we can't we just pick this result and do a phone call passing input? Yeah, you can. That's yeah. I, I th why we okay. don't, let's okay. do that. Okay. Uh, I don't want to change this code because this took too too much time to us to finish. Uh, test fun one test input, which is fine. This is the test parser, parser. Yeah. And now we want to create an input to apply it. So now we're gonna put. Why don't you make like in the same line everything? What do you mean? In the same line, you mean like this? Yeah. Why not? That's terrible. Why I not? can't describe how terrible that is. That's uh, okay. Uh, actually, this is gonna be test mapped parser. And then we need we need uh, this is gonna be a function that expects an input, right? So this is gonna be a test. Uh, but isn't the input already here? I'm confused. So th there are two things different there. There is the input of the parser itself. Yes. And there is the input that you are sending to it. So what you need to create is the is the function to get to the next thing in the parser. So think think about this. It's gonna be you're creating a new parser that has another lambda inside that you need to run with the next input that you're going to be as, as the new input of this guy. So you're basically chaining the parsers. Yeah, no, but we shouldn't have to do all of that just to test this. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You can remove the lambda. No, but the lambda is correct. I know, so you knew this? You do... Continue doing what we were doing. No, 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 but that's, I, I'm, I'm asking, okay, what should I set here? Okay, so you're because setting... Because in my mind, this is the input. Yes, it is. Yeah, but it's not. It is. Because of this lambda crap. No, this, this is, okay, I, I see where you're confused. So that input, input is where you're currently looking in the cursor. So you're parsing the thing and you're saying, okay, so this is the entire text. So what position I am, blah, blah, blah. You can store all those craps in there. Yeah. I think we, yeah. So, yeah, thank you. So do the following. Uh, just do a uh, parser map. You already ran parser map with the test fun. So now do fun call. Fun call. I, I, yeah, okay, I was looking at the code. Uh, parentheses phone call test mapped parser wait i didn't evaluate this uh, uh I, I forgot the oh it's this okay here so pass the function test. don't forget the, oh, oh, no the, don't forget this, the hashtag and this, the error key and the error key we need to remember yeah. this in this case Yes, yeah, crap. Uh, this receives this. Yes, and then pass just like, I don't know, one, two, three, so you know the difference. Like this? Mm hmm. Exception defined function parser. That it's in the final test mapped parser, so I don't know why. I don't. I still don't know why. Pass without the function. Oh man, because that's a lambda, so I think it doesn't identify like that. Better yeah, hit it again now. Fun. So do go back twice, I think. Meta P, meta P, I think. Again. No, no, that's wrong. Meta N. Again. Okay, remove the arity and the hashtag. For that. Undefined function run parser. Hmm. What does this mean? Try remove the phone call. Uh, test map parser one two three. Uh, 
undefined function test mapped parser. Am I writing this correctly? Yes. So, okay, so you don't need that because hmm, that's strange. Okay, kind of makes sense because it's a lambda. It's not really like a high order function. It, it is supposed to be that already. So kind of makes sense, but it's, it's still confusing. Yeah, no, this is really confusing because we have an input. We have... Okay, um... so let, let's just review all the crap, okay? So we get a lambda. So we need to make a new, um, a new parser of that. That's why that thing is wrong. So... Uh, but anyway, let, let's just overview. So, can you do a make parser? Yes. Parser, yeah. It's not parser input, it's just a make parser. No, I'm talking about inside the map. Oh, inside the map. Yeah, so before the lambda, you do a make parser, run, I think it's run, they put it there, run parser. And then the lambda is the body of this, and parentheses. There and another one in the beginning. No, no, remove oh, this, the, this one. Yes. This one. No, no, remove the other one as well. The blue one. Oh, this? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Uh... Beautiful. <laughs> Go do a new line in the run parser. <laughs> Base. Yeah, okay, that's bad. Okay. We'll evolve this again. Okay, so oh, now we are creating a new. We were not doing that before. We're done. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess it worked now. So if we do this. No, we need to evolve this again, right? Evolve. Oh, everything else, right? Yeah. The lum. The make parser. Yes. Okay. No case clause matching. Parse? Oh, so it has exhaustiveness. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> exhaustiveness at one time. Uh, no case clause matching parser. Which case is not matching here in this case? I'm confused. <laughs> it has it's exhaustiveness. <laughs> it's understanding. Can you. Ex it's understanding as a. Tuple of parser? No, it's a record, sorry. It's a record of a parser with a function. Which is right. Because, Which is right. Well, okay, I see. It's because we don't know how to better match the record, right? Okay, so let, let's see. This is wrong, indeed. So, okay. I see the issue. Because we got to unwrap. Oh, man. This enclosure would be a piece of cake. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Oh man, I, I keep complaining about closure, but it's no easier. <laughs> anyway, so uh, let me explain to you. So this let will basically get the output out of the call in the ramp with the function inside the parser with the input that you are passing via the lambda. Yeah, which is fine. So what is this doing? This is picking the input from the lambda and putting that to, to, to run the parser. Okay. And now we match that thing, which is a parser itself. Yeah, so agree? that's the problem. You're not pattern matching a record here. Exactly. So we need to pattern match a record and we'll have those two things. Which we definitely don't know how to do. Yes. I kinda... Okay, I think you can just do go back there to the code. Ignore the, the crap, man. No <laughs> it saved our lives. <laughs> add, add, uh, add a hashtag in the beginning of this white parenthesis. Add of the a new hash... uh, Oh, here. Yes. But then uh, you got to think that the parser has a lambda inside. Correct? Uh, yes. So that is wrong in a sense because we need to be ver uh, we need to know if the thing is succeeding or failing. So here's my proposal. We have two options. We make we handle we deal with our parsers as wait. if they were tuples. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. Hmm. 
Do you agree that this is a function, right? Yes. And do you agree that this is like the input for this function? Yeah. So do you agree that we, this is needs to be a result, not a yeah. not a and this this is not a parser. Yes. No, it is a but is it, it is a result parser it, because the result will be the thing that is inside the parser. That's why it's it's totally wrecked the way it is. <laughs> no, 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 no. But let, let's go back to the drawing board. I'm just thinking that in the theoretical world, this is the um, result. No, 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 wait, that, we are confused. Never mind. So what we're saying is that that thing should be a uh, should be a tuple because that's the result of the run. Thing. Yes. And that is a input, which is, well, an input, yes. which is text and position, I think. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and the second thing is a result, which is the, yes. which is yes. the value we are parsing with so it's another tuple uh, uh possibilities i mean like it's the value or a message which is for the error so it's success or failure yes and th that's why wait so the output no this should is correct be... man this, this should so, yeah, this it be is. okay this should be correct yeah, it is. Yeah. so the output should be so let's evolve by parts parts okay so remove the the hashtag. That's right. Yeah. So I am understanding something out of this. Okay. And the input. Da, da, da. Because you see that what is a parser? A parser is a function that takes an input and returns a, a, a state, quote unquote. Yes. And uh -huh. this is a state. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I don't understand. Why this is not working? So uh, let me take a look again. It's failing when we call it again, right? With some other value on top of it. So think about this. On the second run, it's oh, going to be no, just no, a no, 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 no. That ah. we are feeding the thing. Man, running. this is an input. What is an input? An input is a text yes. and a position, and we are assuming it's a string. Yes. <laughs> so we need a let in here. <sighs> We don't, right? You can always just include more parentheses there. That solves the issue. What do you mean we don't, man? No, we just make make input. No, 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 the input is already a record. We need to extract. I'm dumb. Don't need this. We just need to pick the 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 message, uh, the yeah. text out of this. Yes. Okay, let's see uh, if this works. Actually, that's wrong, right? Because the lambda should receive an input. To receive an uh, input type. The, the lambda? No, 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 that's correct. What you said is correct. But I I an input is not as simple, it's not sim simple as a string, you know? It is, a, it is something that has more content inside it. And we were doing slice of input. To Look at that set. We're doing parser map test fun, which is what is test fun doing? It is simply a function that takes a, a string and splits. And we are passing a test input. And who should be unwrapping that garbage is the output there, is the case, isn't it? Yeah, try like this, man. It should work. I think it wait, should work. Oops, wait. Try like this and should work. Now I am confused, but let's try. Everybody's confused. <laughs> general life. <laughs> okay. Uh... Same thing. No cause, uh, no case clause. Wait, let me think a little, just a bit. I'm not understanding why this part, why this result of this output is a another like another parser. I don't understand that. A parser and a lambda. That doesn't make sense to me. No, 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 this is wrong. No, this try is to do a phone call. Try to do the phone call there. Like a uh, run parser. Wait, here you mean? Yeah. Run no. parser? Uh, no, 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 man. Like, I mean this. It would be... Dude, we need to fix your Visual vis vis Studio. <laughs> it's horrible to... Like this. 
phone call. And let me, can it, wait, so just let me look at the code, otherwise I will get lost. Phone call. What is what is which here? Uh, test phone. So this, and then we're gonna pass the parser itself. So. Man, can we can we all agree on on something? Uh, look at look at my screen. Wait uh, a second. And I, I think this is definitely wrong, and Wait, I think I know yeah. why. Oh, okay. This. Yeah, man. I think I know why this is wrong. So just rule this. This is definitely this is totally broke. This doesn't. No, make dude, any sense. dude, dude, dude. Wait. We're passing the wrong thing, that's why. So try what I sent. We forgot that the second parameter is actually a parser. Yes, and we are passing an input to it. That's dumb. <laughs> See? Illegal characters. I forgot the error key, my friend. Oh, yeah. Uh, I told you it's going to be a problem. Undefined function text. So where's text? Am I using Where? the crap? Oh no no no! I am using. This is it shouldn't be like this. It should be input. Okay. But no 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 no! Wait, should I be input? Yes. Okay, that should be input. That's right. <gasps> what? Save save save. <laughs> save this. <laughs> <laughs> no functional clause matching. No. I don't understand it. Let me see. String slice. No, but this is wrong. Oh, a string slice is uh, an arity of slice. Don't you need that? No, I don't think so. You know why this is wrong? Because, man, what we should be doing is pick a parser, pick a function, and map it. That's it. That's it. Dude, what? I don't want to even do that on that thing. I just want to apply a, a value to the function inside the parser. Yeah, but this doesn't make sense because you're passing a parser to a function that should take a string. Oh, so the, the function is wrong. The function should unwrap the input of the parser. Wait, can you repeat? So the function is wrong because we should map... Wait. You're passing. Oh no, sorry. It's it should be the the map the parser map. That's right. No, no, no. It shouldn't be. This should be phone call. Oh, Those are the arguments for the parser map. Remove the phone call. I was daydreaming there. <laughs> uh, parser map. Like yes. This. Remove the phone call. Yes. Is that the result? Why is it taking ages to... Something is really wrong, right? Yes. Abort. Break? Abort. Okay, you, you feel. Okay. But like, it's right, because it returned a new parser. It returned... Wait. No, this is correct. I must admit, this is correct. I just don't know about... Like... Let me kill this crap. Dude, it was surprisingly easier in in the Lisp, man. Maybe I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe you did incrementally there, and then makes made more sense. Uh, anyway, so my question for you is the following, my man. So you you pick a parser, uh, you run the parser uh, with an input, a provided input, and this yeah. thing will, will generate. Let's let's instead of doing this abstractly, let's try to do this with an example. Right. So yeah. let's use this example right here. So this is the, our input, right? Yeah. We're gonna, the parser will be which parser you we want to, you're gonna use? I don't know. Identity parser. Yeah, just identity. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna pick, it's gonna pick the identity function. Uh -huh. It's gonna pick this, which is this. Then this will be the output. Can we agree on that? Yeah. Okay, then the output would try to match something that impossible, right? Because this is composed only of two things. This is composed mm -hmm. out of a text and a position. And here we have three things. 
Yeah, but the, they should that thing should already be a value. We should be executing that thing. That's the thing that is lacking there. Oh, so this should be more. So this should be success. And let's suppose that we have already. Yeah, but I we don't know, know if that thing succeeded. That's the problem. Sorry. We don't. We but we don't know if that succeeded. We, like you could start with a empty state, right? Like success. No, zero. no, but that's part of the parser. Man, let's create a parser right here. Holy crap! So this is gonna be the identity parser. Oh, man, let, let's just stop here for now. Let's just. Uh, I need to have dinner. I'll be back in like I don't know, ten minutes, fifteen, and then yeah, let's just stop recording for now. Yeah. Okay.